The engines on the island of Sodor are always busy huffing and puffing up and down the line. But they aren't the only ones that work hard on Sodor. Bertie the bus is always busy taking people up and down Thomas's branch line. Terence the tractor is always hard at work in his field. Trevor the traction engine is always busy helping the vicar and the lorry run the vicarage orchard. But Harold the helicopter thinks that he's the busiest out of everyone on Sodor, and he likes to let people know it too. One day, Percy pulled in with the mail train to the airfield. Percy yawned. He was very tired. He had been up all night pulling the mail train. What are you moaning about? asked Harold. I'm tired, Percy huffed. Harold laughed. From the mail train? Percy, you are quite the weak engine. Percy was upset. Just then, Thomas pulled in. Good morning, Percy. Hello, Harold. Hello, Percy. Hello, Harold, said the coaches. So far, there's been nothing good about it, huffed Percy. He's moaning over nothing, Harold butted in. I've been up all night with the mail, and now I have to take empty milk tankers to the dairy, he huffed. I should be the one moaning, Percy, said Harold. I'm the busiest on the island. The engines disagreed with Harold. We're all busy, huffed Thomas. Suddenly, Harold's pilot ran up. Harold, there's an emergency. A hiker got stuck overnight on Devil's Back in the Caldyfell Mountains. We need to go rescue him. Right away, Harold said. His pilot climbed into his cab. I'm always busy. But you never hear me complain, and Harold flew away. The little tank engines were cross. Harold the helicopter flew high in the air. He flew over Wellsworth and high above Gordon's Hill. Always in need and all the work's put on me. Harold began to climb the mountain. Harold searched around, but he couldn't find the climber. Finally, he found the climber at the top of the mountain. Harold hovered down. The climber was relieved to see him. He climbed aboard Harold. Harold's pilot checked the climber for any injuries. After the pilot had examined the climber, Harold set off the mountain and flew down to the valley. Harold began his trip back to Knapford. Always in need and all the works put on me. Finally, Harold arrived at Knapford Station. Bertie the bus was waiting to take the climbers to the hospital. As the climber was transported to Bertie, Harold watched the busy hustle and bustle of the train station. Harold thought for a moment about how busy they were too. Maybe Thomas and Percy were right about them being busy. Once the climber was aboard Bertie, he drove away. Bye Harold, called Bertie. But Harold didn't hear him. He was too busy watching and thinking about the busy engines. Soon Harold flew back to the airfield. He hardly spoke for the rest of the morning. That afternoon, Thomas arrived to drop some passengers off. So how's the busiest helicopter on Sodor? asked Thomas. Harold was quiet. Just then Percy stopped by. Percy purposely ignored Harold. Harold felt bad for being so ignorant. Finally he spoke up. Percy, Thomas, I realize that I'm not the only one that's busy on Sodor. I see now that you guys work hard too to be really useful. Thomas smiled, but Percy was still cross. I'm sorry, Percy, said Harold. Percy couldn't stay cross forever. Harold was his friend. It's all right, smiled Percy, and together the three of them were very happy. Hello, I'm Duke. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to subscribe for more Thomas and Friends videos. You can also check out more videos on our YouTube channel by clicking the Visit Channel button. If you want to learn more about the up-and-coming latest adventures from Sodor, and to find out about the latest updates, then click the News Blog button. You can also check out the Google Plus and our Facebook page by clicking a link in the description. We hope to see you again soon, Come back often for more videos.